hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to detect the employee salary based on the unpaid leave taken so in the previous video we have shown you how to configure the payroll in odoo 14 so the same thing has can be followed in the below odoo version also so in this video we will be seeing how we can detect the employee salary based on the leave they have taken so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 14 community edition which i am accessing from my local instance and in this database i have already installed the payroll module as well as the time of module so if you go to the apps menu you can see the odoo 14 hr payroll and odoo 14 hr payroll accounting module has been already installed so if you have in this module you can simply go to the Udo app store and you can download and install this module so here you can see you can go to the Udo app store search for Udo mates and here you can see we have got two modules that is Udo 14 HR payroll and Udo 14 HR payroll accounting which links the payroll with accounting so download both modules and install in your Udo instance so once you install this module so when, when we are delivering the previous video so recently we have made a video about how to manage the Odoo payroll so yet if you haven't watched this video you can simply go to this video and see how you can do the basic setup so I'll be adding this video link in the description so right now we have configured the payroll and we have discussed about the salary rule so these are the salary rule by default we will have the basic salary gross and net salary so as part of the last video we have simply created the medical insurance so after creating this video we thought of making a new section or new improvement for a creating a new salary rule so what you have to do is that you have to download the latest module and install so once you download the latest module from the Odoo app store and if you upgrade your module you can see so right now i'll be upgrading the module so once you download the latest module and you upgrade you will be getting a new salary rule from the data so if i go to the payroll and if to the configuration and then to the salary rules you can see a new salary rule has been added so this is the new salary rule that we have added into the code or either you can upgrade the latest code or you can manually create this rule here so be thought of it will be a general rule so we have added inside our module so just download the latest version and upgrade your module to get this leave rule salary rule so here you can see in this salary rule we have the given name as unpaid leave category of course deduction it will deduct the employee salary and the code is given as UNP and here you can see condition is always true and in the amount type we have given it as Python code so what this Python code do is that it will get like contract dot wage contract refers to the employee contract so if i duplicate this tab here you can see inside the employee contract we will have the salary so right now i'll be choosing the catherine uh, so where is the yeah we have this catherine contract and inside the salary information here you can see the wage of the catherine is fifty thousand inr per month so it will give contract dot wage will be giving the salary set inside the contract which will be divided by the total number of days in that month so this is the equation into number of days so it will be like 50,000 by total number of days into number of leaves taken which will reduce the amount of unpaid leave so let's see how this salary rule work so right now we have created or we have get this new salary rule from the Code, and now we have to add it inside the salary structure so I'll be going into the salary structure and here we have base for new structure and I'll be adding the unpaid leaves to the salary structure so let's see what happens right now so already before creating this video I have already gone into the time of where we can record the leaves and I'll be going into the managers menu and time off here you can see I have already created a leave record for Catherine so here you can see I have already created a leave record like Catherine is leave from you can see 15th of this month to 18th of December 2020 so here you can see four days of leave has been approved for Catherine so once we generate the payroll for Catherine for the month of December so here you can see Catherine has taken leave from 15th of December to 18th of December 2020 so let's create a payslip 
for Catherine during this month. So I'll be going into the payroll and I'll be clicking on create button. I'll be choosing Catherine here. So I'll be choosing Catherine. It will automatically pulls her contract and salary structure. So here you can see total number of working days is 19 and she has taken unpaid leave of four. So let's see what happens if I try to generate the salary computation. So I'll be clicking on compute sheet. So once you click on that, you can see her total salary is 50,000, gross is 50,000 and unpaid leave of deduction. You can see 10,526 has been deducted as unpaid leave as she has taken four days leave. So here you can see four days leave has been computed here and it has been deducted and if i click on confirm and if i go to the accounting information so accounting entry has been generated and here you can see the given salary for that month is 39473 so let's see what happens so i'll be taking furthermore leave for the catherine same month so i'll be going into the tree view and or i'll be going into the manager's time off i'll be creating Two more leave for Catherine so I'll be changing the employee to Catherine and I'll be allocating leave for her from 22nd of this month to 25th so I'm allocating her four more days leave I'll be choosing unpaid leave here so I'll be clicking on save approve validate so I have approved four more leaves to Catherine in the same month and if I try to again generate a payroll for Catherine in the same month let's see what happens so you can see the number of leaves has been increased to eight and if you try to compute the salary using this button compute sheet you can see the deduction has been increased to 26,666 so the total salary will be only 23,333 in this month. So this is how you can deduct employee salary based on the unpaid leaves that they have taken. So what you have to do is that to get this salary rule either you can create it manually. So I'll be adding this uh, Python code in the video description so that you can copy from there or what you can do is that you can simply go to the Uru app store and get the latest code of odoo 14 hr payroll from odoo mates just make sure that you have downloaded both modules so once this will brings the basic functionality and this module will bring or link the payroll with the accounting so just don't download this and go away just download both modules place it into your add-ons path restart the service and upgrade the module so once you get the latest module you will have a new salary rule called unpaid leaves in the database so that's all about this video and if you have any doubts queries or suggestions or feedback don't hesitate to comment it out or reach us over the email that is automates at gmail.com so that's all about this video and if you like the video please don't click, forget to like the video and just have a comment so that's it have a nice day thank you